Welcome again to Inconsistent Journaling. My first page, I have some stickers. They're all fun outdoor adventure type stickers. And over here, I have Observation Journal, and I am using those flare pens I mentioned on the last page. All different rainbow colors, because rainbows are awesome. I've also had some fun with washi tape, just seeing how it takes in my book. Because sometimes different pages will turn your washi tape different colors. Some of the color from your page can show through in your washi tape, can change how it looks. A little circle added by one of my children. And more stickers. Also have a page of topics that you could use in your journal. Part of this is because originally I started this journal as a program for work. So you can see, you can do an animal encounter, talk about shells and scales. You could do an edible and medicinal mosey, or you could do plant ID pictures that you sketch. Look for mushrooms. You can talk about gills versus polypores, different colors and shapes. Fire starting. Talk about favorite techniques, what was learned. You can do weather and cloud shapes. I never actually wrote in my ideas there. You can talk about the Von Log cabin is a pioneer cabin. You can do a tour of the cabin and then look at cotton and wool for carding and spinning. And you can journal about different textures and colors. Leaf shapes and colors. Why leaves change color and a dichotomous key which is how you identify different leaves based on whether you know, it has a heart shape, you go to this page over here, or it has an almond shape, you go to this page over there. That's what the dichotomous key is. How to draw circle animals. I have a page for that. Different bugs, snails, butterflies, millipedes, bees. I see all of those at my work a lot. The moon and stars. Talk about different phases. And you can make circle charts for the phases of the moon for the time of year. You can look up a specific date. You can also make star circle charts that you turn to the date and see which constellations are available. Orienteering, learning to use a compass and a map. And you can do a compass and map close up in your journal. A history hike. You can look at iron photos and samples. Where I work, we have an iron mining history. You can also do archery and do sketches of the fletching and learn about how to fletch arrows. And the fletching is the feathering on arrows that allows it to fly straight. And last, we have fishing and gyotaku, which is a style of Japanese art where they would make printing of different fish they caught that were unusual in size or shape or type. Before they had photography, they would use this gyotaku as a way to record unusual things they caught. Over here we have my first sketch, and one of the most important things, always including a date. This again is using those flare pens. I've sketched a gibbous waxing moon. No, waning. I think I originally wrote waxing, but I believe it is actually waning. I learned to tell if you put a stick up next to the side of the moon that is not circular, if it makes a D, it is decreasing, which is waning. If it had been facing the other way and you put that stick up, it would be getting bigger for B, that is waxing. Some beautiful purple mountains and orange stars, a little bit of green hills and the word imagine, some cute little leaves, happy snail, little heart in the shell, and the word snail slime. Pretty little clovers and wood sorrel. The wood sorrel leaves are often mistaken for clover, but clover leaves are an almond shape and wood sorrel makes little hearts. And an Amanita mushroom. Amanita muscaria specifically is fly agaric. 